gang, welcome back. Now today I'm gonna declassify something for you. See that trailer behind me there? We're gonna go to Vermont. We're gonna buy a special military vehicle for the channel that we're gonna use from now on to get to some pretty hard to reach spaces as long once we verify it's working good. So let's hit the road right now. Swamps, marshes, and deep mud are impassable barriers to most vehicles. This one churns its way right through the deepest muck. Built by Studebaker, this is the M29C, a World War II amphibious personnel carrier that I just bought in Vermont. Even deep water is no obstacle. This baby can swim. But one word of caution. The weasel is not a surf big. If you try to operate it in choppy water, you're asking for a ducky. Here's the right side of the machine, which you can see is in pretty decent shape. The left side has these two doors cut in, which render it not waterproof anymore, unfortunately. Those can be repaired. Here's the original USMC production number, as well as the controls that make everything work. Now the engine, the powerhouse of this beast, of the weasel. On a level road, it has a top speed of about 36 miles per hour. For steady cruising, however, it shouldn't be driven at more than 25. Feeding that Studebaker Champion engine right now is an auxiliary gas tank. This is the right side track. It's an original track. This is the left side track, which has been remanufactured with belting. Let's see just what the weasel can do. Under full load on a steep grade, it pulls ahead with power to spare. Yeah. Yeah, the old flathead thing. This extra power also comes in handy when you're pulling through very heavy mud, swamp, or marshland. In this clip, this is Glenn, and he this is his last ride helping me load it onto the trailer. What a neat vehicle the way it moves, huh? Uses the two levers act as a brake, one for each side track, so that you can steer this thing to position it whichever way you want. Of course, I almost trip and fall on my own trailer. That's typical Pat for you right here. But uh, what a machine. Trying to get the weight right. Right about there is where I like it. Now that it's chained down, I guess I should tell you, he made me a heck of a deal and sold me this one as well. This one needs a lot more work. Does have the engine. It's there. But underneath, there's a lot of rust. And uh, this, you know, looks a lot more like surface rust, but it's all repairable. But I'm sure there's some rot to be found underneath. Here's the original drive train or drive shaft right there. So back at the old shop, unloading it off the trailer. This is my first drive. What a machine. I think I've said that a couple times already. My plan for this thing is that one of the tracks, the original track, is going to have to be rebuilt before I can take it anywhere. And as you'll hear, there is some kind of popping noise periodically as I'm trying to turn this thing. What that is, is it's a case of worn sprockets. So on the back of the tracks, what causes them to move are big sprockets. And the teeth on those are pretty worn on this particular one. So the sprockets are gonna to have to be replaced because it just keeps jumping the teeth, just like it would if your bicycle was worn out or the chain was too loose. So that's something I'm gonna to have to address as, long as, as well as my personality there, obviously, getting excited. But uh, it's gonna be really neat, I think. So I hope you follow us along the way, and I don't think I'm gonna do this primarily uh, as a channel thing, but I just wanted you to check it out so that in the future, you have an idea of what this vehicle is when you do see it being used here. But if it has, has been demonstrated, the M29C can take the toughest kind of terrain in stride. But in doing so, the vehicle is exposed to shocks and strains to which most other vehicles are never subjected. And if you want to get your fix of metal detecting because you didn't this week, be sure to click on one of the videos on the left right now. Or click on the subscribe button on the right to join us next week for more four-season, all-terrain, truly amphibious treasure hunting. Have a great day.